the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello fifth standard children how are all of you have you studied all the lessons taken so far this is the fourth lesson hope you all are studying the topics understanding the concepts clearly if not you can call me okay so last class what did i teach you it was about see dispersal the modes of dispersal and the adaptations for seed dispersal isn't it i told you the meaning of adaptation as well the meaning was what is the meaning of adaptation that i told you adjustment yes see how nicely we teachers have adjusted to this online platform not only us you also you also are now very well acquainted with this system you also have adapted to this online teaching isn't it so that is what i said if god forces upon us a challenge we have to overcome it we have to adopt new methods we have to adapt to the situations adjust that is what we all are doing now even during lockdown we all adapted to the changing circumstances right similarly our seeds are also given different adaptations for dispersal by god i hope i don't have to repeat it again so children last class i told you there is a table about vegetative propagation isn't it i asked you to write it in rough book with a pencil today i'll give you just one or two examples so that you won't be confused now in that table there are four columns okay the first column is about seed the question is classify the different plants seen around you on the basis of mode of formation of plantlets enganeyano plant undavana adinte basis vechittana ningalodu classify cheyan parnikana grouping classify means grouping appo seeds nu undavana plants edakkeyana ningalku ariyanadu you have to write it in that column okay now i have written whatever is easier for me easier for you also to understand so i wrote paddy mango then uh, brinjal you can write whatever you know about plants that come from seeds okay paddy mango brinjal any seed any plant that comes from seed i am just giving you a few examples okay then the next column is stem here in the book they have given crepe jasmine that is nandiyarvattam okay you can write hibiscus that is chambarathi hibiscus hibiscus h i b i s c u s then rose then pepper okay so in that column you can write hibiscus rose then pepper kurumalaga also you can write then you can write drumstick muringa that also comes from stem okay muringa comes from seed as well but you can write in the stem column okay then next is from the leaves the plants that come from leaves there they have given bryophyllum you can write two more that i have understood nishagandhi plant and begonia nishagandhi and begonia okay then from the roots i have written sandalwood is given curry leaf kairvepella then 
there are different species of jackfruit you can write there jackfruit tree i'll give you marks okay because there are different types of jackfruit trees that belong to the formation that comes from roots okay so if you write jackfruit tree that is enough don't confuse curry leaf curry leaf so root in the avada endha eludha curry leaf sandalwood is given in curry leaf plant and then if you want you can write jackfruit also different species of jackfruit tree okay jackfruit tree understood children okay so curry leaf plant and jackfruit tree chakka kada chakka there are different types of jackfruits okay that's why i don't confuse you can write jackfruit tree clear so this is about that table then after adaptations there is one more table in that table you have to write this table both the tables in the file my dear children okay so this table you just understand the answers i'll be giving you the question and answers after i finish this lesson okay so in this table the first column is just listen to me carefully modes of seed dispersal second column is plants third one is adaptations so first one is through wind through wind what are the examples given papas and mahogany and what are the adaptations given there light seed and hair like parts to fly these are the adaptations given in the textbook wind und pona seeds inde adaptations avada thannittund okay mahagana da avade you can write winged parts wings parts like wings okay that you can write parts like wings i'll be giving you this sending it to you through your class teacher's uh, message okay so don't worry second one is through water water the example is coconut so there through water i have taught you last time two adaptations first one they can float on water and they don't decay okay then through animals examples are ficus jack tree guava tree arrow grass so ficus fig aanu fig inde oru peer aanu ficus okay just like a guava green color fig mara ariyo okay that is ficus so ficus it is a fruit so naturally it is understood who will be responsible for dispersal birds isn't it so through animals la you have examples are given so what are the adaptations there for animals hooks gum pointed tips if you want you can add fleshy parts of a fruit okay then the fourth one by bursting the examples are lady's finger and balsam id random fruit ripe aite it burst that is the adaptation it ripens on its own okay the fruit and then it bursts and then the seeds come out okay so these are the adaptations so don't worry i have already taught you this before now i am going to the last page of this lesson the first para in that last page is guest from across the sea guest varna virunna kaaru from across the sea varna endha foreign countries nna vanna virunna kaarine pettitaan ippo nammal padikkan pona aarakya vannathu this lesson is about seeds appo the seeds that came to india from foreign places foreign varna out of india okay now i'll read the paragraph and then i'll explain it to you man also has a role in the dispersal of seeds that you know since ancient times we have been carrying seeds with us to and fro we are carrying seeds to and fro from india we are carrying it to different places from there to india that is to and fro understood the meaning to and fro ivudun avadakke avudun ivadakke that is to and fro during our travel to other countries and distant places they are thus dispersed to different places and grow there ivudna poya seeds avade ettum man is responsible for that isn't it when we go to foreign countries we can carry seeds with us 
we can plant it there and the trees that belong to india now germinate over there man was responsible for seed dispersal in this case okay then pineapple tea tapioca papaya rubber cashew nut etc came to india from foreign countries in this manner the pineapple that you eat the tapioca the tea that you drink chai kudikkilla nammal adu indiyil aayirunnilla aadhyam undayathu it was from a foreign country that came to india now let us study about the seeds agricultural crops and the place of origin there is a table in the first column they are given agricultural crops second column the place of origin origin means evadeyana avar aadhyayite undayathu okay so ee seeds foreign countries laan undayathu adu evade innittana avar indiyil ettirikkanathu okay so the first റോല് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് പൈനാപ്പിൾ ചാപ്പിയോക്ക ടൊമാറ്റോ പൊട്ടേറ്റോ ഗ്രീൻ ചില്ലി ഗോവ പപ്പായ കോഫി ഇതെല്ലാം വന്നത് എവിടെ നിന്നാണ് അമേരിക്കയിൽ നിന്ന് അമേരിക്ക ഇസ് ദ ഒറിജിൻ ഓഫ് ഓൾ ദീസ് ക്രോപ്സ് ദറ്റ് ആർ റെഡ് നൗ ഓക്കെ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇസ് ടീ ടീ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് കം ഫ്രം ചൈന ഓക്കെ എവിടെ നിന്നാണ് ചൈന തേർഡ് ക്യാബേജ് എവിടെ നിന്നാണ് വന്നത് യൂറോപ്പ് ക്യാബേജ് ആദ്യം അവിടെ നിന്നാണ് ഉണ്ടായത് ഇപ്പോൾ വി ഓൾ ഈറ്റ് ക്യാബേജ് ഇസെൻറ്റ് ഫോർത്ത് റബ്ബർ ആൻഡ് കാഷ്യൂ ട്രീ ബ്രസീൽ അത് ബ്രസീലിലാണ് ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്നത് ഫ്രം ദേ ഇവൻ മലേഷ്യ ഹാസ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് റബ്ബർ പ്ലാന്റേഷൻസ് നൗ ഇന്ത്യ ഓൾസോ ഹാസ് കേരള ഓൾസോ ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ലാർജസ്റ്റ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് റബ്ബർ അപ്പം ഇത് ആദ്യം വന്നത് എവിടെ നിന്നാണ് ബ്രസീലിൽ നിന്നാണ് റബ്ബർ ആദ്യം വന്നത് ഇന്ത്യയിലേക്ക് ഓക്കെ ന next para many plants have been brought from foreign countries and grown here how have they enriched our agricultural sector discuss and note down in your science diary so when india did not have all this it has come from foreign countries and now we ourselves are producing we are producers and now it is our agricultural sector is booming isn't it with all this even india is flourishing because of this seeds because of this germination because of this agricultural crops that are growing in abundance in india okay now we used to bring seeds even from other countries and cultivate here today it is seen that we depend on other states for many of our food items those seeds we brought to india and india utilized it and uh, it was in grown in plenty in india but now the situation changed we have to depend on other states for some food items there was a shortage of rice there was shortage of vegetables shortage of coconuts even in kerala though it is called as land of coconuts we had to depend on other states tamil nadu andhra pradesh punjab like that okay so what we have to do even this pandemic has taught us a lesson during lockdown everything came to a stand still we survived most of the houses they survived on the crops that they had in their courtyards in their field avaro ore veetile sthala undait adile undakiya crops le depend cheyidittana nammal korchu divasam kaiyne nekkiyad alle so if we have soil with us if we have some land with us why can't we utilize it make that soil productive soil it shouldn't be kept barren we have to give some work as we give some work to our brains isn't it we have to give work to the soil also only then it will start giving us lot of crops it will help us it will help us to overcome any crisis of food shortage okay children you know that so instead of depending on other states why can't we be self dependent we should atmanirbhar you might have heard of that word atmanirbhar on tv isn't it self reliant self reliance we have to be productive we have to be engaged in all this farming agriculture it will only help us physically as well as it will give us lot of mental happiness also okay Don't you think it is better if we ourselves can cultivate and produce at least a portion of the food items we need 
കുറച്ച് ആവശ്യമുള്ള കുറച്ച് സാധനങ്ങളെങ്കിലും നമുക്ക് ഉണ്ടാക്കി കൂടെയെന്നാണ് ഇത് ചോദിക്കണം ദിസ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് മീൻസ് വൈ കാൻറ്റ് വി അവർ സെൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസിങ് ക്രോപ്സ് ഓക്കെ ഇഫ് വി ഡു ദിസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് വി വിൽ ഹാവ് ഇഫ് വി കൾട്ടിവേറ്റ് അവർ ഓൺ വെജിറ്റബിൾ ഗാർഡൻ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഗുണങ്ങൾ ഓക്കെ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് സി ഫസ്റ്റ് ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ഗിവൻ ഇൻ ദ ബുക്ക് ദർ ആർ ഫോർ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ഗിവൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ഡിഷസ് വിത്ത് ബെറ്റർ വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് അവരോരോ വീട്ടിൽ ഉണ്ടാക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ദ വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് വിൽ ബി ഫ്രഷ് ഇസൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് നോ പോയിസണസ് ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് നീഡ് ടു ബി ആഡഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഡിഷസ് ദാറ്റ് യു പ്രിപ്പയർ ഓൾസോ വിൽ ബി ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഇസൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ സോ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ഡിഷസ് വിത്ത് ബെറ്റർ വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് വിത്തൗട്ട് എനി അഡൾട്രേഷൻ വി ഗെറ്റ് ഗുഡ് വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് ഓക്കെ നോ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ഇസ് നോളേജ് അബൌട്ട് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റേജസ് ഓഫ് വെജിറ്റബിൾ കൾട്ടിവേഷൻ If we start vegetable cultivation in our own houses, we will get the knowledge also. How to do, what to do, at what time to do, what is the right proportion. What is the right proportion, what is the right proportion, what is the right seed, what is the right proportion, what is the right proportion. So we also get, what is the right proportion, what is the right proportion, what is the right proportion. What is the right time for the seed to be sown. Okay, our knowledge also will improve. Now the third one is pesticide free vegetables. Pesticide varna ingane spray cheyile pest ne ka kollan appo adu pollute aakana water ne you studied about this in the second lesson. Appo pesticide onnu illa and fresh manure akka ittittu nalla vegetables kittale nalladu. So pesticide illatha vegetables we can produce in our own houses. Now the fourth point is employment opportunities and financial gains. Employment parna joli sadhyathagalana opportunities inde artham. And financial gains. Financial parna cash gain kittum namukku income varan thodanga nammala veetle. Okay now for example just imagine teacher inde adutha korcha cent sthalam undu. For example 10 cent sthalam undu. in those 10 cents if i start to do agriculture using those 10 cents first of all i'll get good dishes then i'll get pesticide free vegetables my knowledge will improve moreover aa adile joli cheyan ipo teacher ku arnu onnu verilla illa appo njan korcha aalukare adile vilichittu joli cheyipikkum appo avarku employment kittille and i'll be a uh, medium for them i'll be very happy because because of me at least few people are working they will get employment and the yield that will give me financial output also isn't it i indaki vegetables vittu kaiyna aarka kaashu vittan pona agriculture cheeda aalukku so these are the benefits gunangal vegetable garden nammala veetile thanne indaaka nokku kuttiyale you can engage yourself under the supervision of elders if you are really passionate towards agriculture farming is one of the best occupation no doubt best form of relaxation also it will keep our mind body agile alert okay and moreover we don't have to depend on other states other people for food we have the minimum resources in our house itself okay understood these four points what are the benefits of vegetable garden na choichal ഫോർ പോയിൻസ് എഴുതണം ടീച്ചർ പഠിപ്പിച്ചത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡിഷസ് കിട്ടും ദെൻ പെസ്റ്റിസൈഡ് ഇല്ലാത്ത വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് പിന്നെ എന്താ ടീച്ചർ പറഞ്ഞത് രണ്ടാമത്തത് നോളേജ് കൂടും ആൻഡ് ഫോർത്ത് വൺ എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈനാൻഷ്യൽ ഗെയിൻസ് ജോലി സാധ്യതകളും കൂടും ഇൻകം കാശും കുറച്ച് കുറച്ചായിട്ട് നമ്മളുടെ കയ്യിൽ വരാൻ തുടങ്ങും ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ക്ലിയർ നൗ what are the factors to be taken care of while making a vegetable garden gunangal teacher parnu pakshe ini a vegetable garden undaakumbo what are the factors to be taken care of verde ah anke agriculture cheyanam parna pattilla we should know some uh, basic things about agriculture okay what are the factors the first one is seeds should be of high quality the seeds that we take for sowing മണ്ണിൽ കുഴിച്ചിടാൻ എടുക്കുന്ന സീഡ്സ് ലോ ക്വാളിറ്റി ഒന്നും പാടില്ല ഹൈ ക്വാളിറ്റി സീഡ്സ് ആയിരിക്കണം എന്നാലേ അത് ജെർമിനേറ്റ് ആവുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ 
So the first one was about nalla seeds aayirikanam high quality seeds. Second one soil should be fertile and should have good drainage. Mannu nalla fertile soil hai nalla seed akku idum. So mannu kollilengilo so soil also must be fertile and it should have good drainage drainage varna endha vellam ketti ninna seeds akka destroy aavilla appo adakka aalochikana nalla drainage system venam vellam thangi nikkanange adine ko oligiya oligi povanulla saajaryangal undaakanam okay third one sunlight should be adequate seed undu mannu undu velicham kollillengilo so sunlight also must be adequate aavashulla sunlight avarkku kittiye pattu that is a third factor now the fourth one sufficient water should be made available aavashulla water sufficient varna what they need that must be made available adu avarkku kittiye pattu okay then the fifth one proper manuring pest control weed control etc should be taken care of proper manuring വെള്ളമൊക്കെ ഇട്ട് കൊടുക്കണം അവർക്ക് ഇടയ്ക്കിടയ്ക്ക് സീഡ്സിന് ജസ്റ്റ് ഇങ്ങനെ വെള്ളം ഒഴിച്ച് കൊടുത്താൽ പോരാ ഇഫ് വി ഗീവ് ദം അഡീഷണലി മാന്യുവർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഗ്രോ നൈസ്ലി ഓക്കെ ന വി ഓൾ ഹാവ് ഫുഡ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ അഡീഷൻ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ഡേറ്റ്സ് ബദാം വാട്ട് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡൂയിങ് ഗുഡ് ഫോർ യുവർ ബോഡി അതുപോലെ അവർക്കും മാന്യുവർ ഇട്ട് കൊടുക്കണം ഇടയ്ക്കിടയ്ക്ക് ഓക്കെ ഹാവ് ഫ്രൂട്ട്സ് ഓൾസോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദ ആർ പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റീവ് ഫുഡ്സ് യു നോ ദാറ്റ് അതുപോലെ സീഡ്സിന് നമ്മൾ കുറച്ച് നല്ല സാധനങ്ങൾ ഇടയ്ക്കിടയ്ക്ക് കൊടുക്കുക ദെൻ പെസ്റ്റ് കൺട്രോൾ പെസ്റ്റ് കൺട്രോളിൽ നമ്മൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും ചെയ്തേ പറ്റൂ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കുറച്ച് ചെടികൾ വലുതാകുമ്പോൾ അതൊക്കെ അവർ നശിപ്പിക്കും പെസ്റ്റ് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താ റോഡൻസ് ഇങ്ങനെ കൃഷിയിൽ എലികളൊക്കെ ഇങ്ങനെ ചില പോവില്ല അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ടും അതിനെയൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ വരാതെ നോക്കണം വീട് കൺട്രോൾ വീഡ്സ് മീൻസ് അൺവോണ്ടഡ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് അൺവോണ്ടഡ് ഗ്രാസ് ചിലത് വളരും അപ്പോൾ സീഡിന് കൊടുക്കുന്ന വെള്ളമൊക്കെ അവർ തന്നെ വലിച്ചെടുത്തിട്ട് അവർ വലുതായിട്ട് വളരും ആൻഡ് അവർ ഫാം വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്ട്രോയ്ഡ് സോ വീഡ്സിനെ ഇടയ്ക്കിടയ്ക്ക് വെട്ടിവിടാൻ നോക്കണം വീട് വീട് മീൻസ് അൺവോണ്ടഡ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ വീട് ദാറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ടേക്കൺ കെയർ ഓഫ് so the five points again i'll read it out first one seeds should be of high quality second soil should be fertile and should have good drainage third one sunlight should be adequate fourth one sufficient water should be made available fifth one proper manuring pest control weed control etc should be taken care of now remember to record all this in the science diary the activities that you carried out while making a vegetable garden and the various stages of learning po idakka ningal cheyanengil ningal eduthu or record undaki vekkan parayana science diary la endakka padichu so here the lesson comes to an end children okay so first we studied about sprouting factors necessary for sprouting then germination factors necessary for germination then about dispersal modes adaptations and today we learned about the seeds that reached india from foreign countries then uh, about how to cultivate vegetable garden and the benefits of vegetable garden okay now all the questions i'll be giving it to you anyway but uh, it's my duty to discuss the question answers that are given here just simple i'll just uh, do it roughly you just have to understand okay first question in the lettuce assess is you might have seen ficus seedlings sprouting from some buildings how could have the ficus seed reached there ficus i told you it's a type of fig buildings in the mele sprout avana kandittu adu engane etti avade buildings in the mole lana nammal poi tudu ficus kalichittu no tall skyscraper pole ulla building in the mole lakka so who would have dropped that birds isn't it so birds are one of the modes of seed dispersal they eat the juicy part and they drop the seeds angane buildings in the mole veenittu avaru just sprout out can they germinate over buildings no because soil is not there water is also not there okay now the second one ramesh said that the seeds of lady's finger if sown too deep will not sprout do you agree with this opinion why ramesh parayana too deep aayittu ladies finger's seed nammal sow cheedal adu sprout avilla why 
see my dear children some seeds we have to think it, if it is so so deep you know they won't get the adequate sunlight sunlight is one of the essential factors so you should have in your mind how deep we have to sow the seeds maybe they will get a lot of water but what about sunlight okay don't worry i'll give you these answers okay just have to understand that every seed has different different ways of planting them under the soil now the third is find out whether the given statements are true or false true or false dana chodikana first one plants without seeds also propagate seeds illandum plants propagate avum yes true alle stem annum leaves nokka varilla but true ana without seeds also propagate na varana seeds illandum but true ezhudikolu second only seeds that reach the soil will sprout only seeds that reach the soil will sprout soil undengile sprout aavullu na parana adu false alle soil aavashyam illa sprouting na ta false second one false third one man also facilitates seed dispersal nammalum seed dispersal na kaaranam aanu appo true aanu alle fourth when a seed germinates the part that comes out first is the root the first portion that comes out is the radical children it forms the root then so if you wish you can write here true because radical changes it to root right when a seed germinates the part that comes out first is the root they have given uh, actually it is radical so i prefer you can write here false because what i have taught you is radical so some children may get confused so you can write false here okay so this answer when a seed germinates the part that comes out first is the root write that false because i have taught you that it is radical that comes out from the seed then fifth one seeds dispersed through wind will have fleshy parts wind kondu pona seeds na fleshy parts undo kattiyulla no avar light weight ana hairy parts and wings pole ullade undavullu appo idu false aanu okay seeds dispersed through wind will have fleshy parts false aanu then sunlight is not essential for seed germination sunlight is not essential for seed germination that is false sunlight is one of the factors major factors germination alle appo idu false aanu then fourth one the agriculture club fourth question i am reading out now the agriculture club in sunita school wishes to set up a vegetable garden what suggestions can you give for a better yield so this answer already i have discussed right or better yield kittan vegetable garden le factors anja anna teacher padipichu adanne aanu idinte answer endakkana better yield kittan seeds high quality aayirikanam pinne drainage proper aayirikanam then sunlight um soil um fertile adakka teacher parnu annu anju points ormeyundo anju points nanu idinte answer don't worry the file i have covered all the question and answers related to this lesson so you can enter it into the file okay so here the lesson comes to an end if you have any doubts you can call me so this lesson was really interesting it was about small seeds and how a big tree comes out from the seeds not only from seeds from other vegetative parts also plants develop it was really interesting a really wonderful lesson you came to know many things isn't it about seed about dispersal then there is very good proverb also as you sow so shall you reap and artham da engena ano nalla seed ningal sow cheedal nalla oru tree aayirikkum നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടാൻ പോണത് അതുപോലെ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഇൻസ്റ്റിൽഡ് വിത്ത് ഗുഡ് വാല്യൂസ് പ്രോപ്പർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ യു വിൽ ഓൾസോ ഗ്രോ ഇൻ ടു എ വെരി ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് സോ ഹിയർ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ബൈ താങ്ക് യു